Ooh, and this is where you start to see some... Don't jump in the sphincter. I'll enjoy that. Whee! That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you're such a goob. It's like, ooh, I'll jump a hole in the gr um, a fleshy pit. Let me jump in. We dive right in head first. I'm gonna don't stick your dick in the uh, in the sphincter. Oh the Zen shit! Sphincter. <laughs> There's a crack in the air. My God, what is it with you and jumping into every hole in this universe? Okay, so these th these sting rare things are just gonna go around and chuck out big boys. So those are called controllers. They're pussies. And and crossbows are the best method of dealing with them. Crossbows and magnums. Can I can I kill these things? No, you can't. They're just sort oh. of there. But yeah, crossbows and magnums can. are recommended. Oh damn it! Oh dear. <laughs> Crossbows and magnums are recommended because crossbows and magnums uh, re retain very high accuracy at very low at, at very f long distances. Yeah. Uh, came with you. With baby. Oh, for fuck's sake! I didn't even realize that was one of these. Am I meant to be? I saw you? that. You're not. No. Yeet me. What the fuck? I think you broke the game. Uh, you'll have to reload the latest save. Yeah, like... You would... I love how, like, easily you fall into any basic trap. Like, <laughs> you are the... You are the, um... You're that little bitch that fall like falls for every. What the fuck is that? What is he doing? It's... <laughs> He's just chilling. Uh, falls for every like animal trick. Like, have you ever seen that clip of a germa f uh, falling for animal camouflage? <laughs> yeah. Like m th one of multiple. You're that, but with like the every single animal's like ensnaring method, like. The ant lion, the trap, uh, not trap door, the uh, trap door spider. I'm the ideal just, subject like, for all of those, yeah. Yeah, you just stumble into all of them, like, right. a, like Mr. Magoo. Can we discuss so, where the fuck I'm meant to be going? If you look to your left... That, there. I like how if I said, I like how I said <laughs> look to the left and you did a full, like, <laughs> spin to the right to look left. So yes, you need to jump between platforms and whatever the fuck those things are to uh, make it over there. What? How am I even meant to get to one of these? With your long jump. Yeah, but I don't- it doesn't add height. They're not low enough. Eh. Like, if you jump from the, uh, go back to where you were? On the like the high peak, I'm pretty sure you can reach one from there, and it adds a little bit of height. Okay, there you, there you go. Whoa! Well, you missed, but you get the idea. Oh, damn it. That one will come back around again. Actually, no. Look, they come up. Oh, I. I honestly, I've played uh, this game a lot. I didn't know this was here. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what on earth? Um... 
I've never seen this before. Have I just been... Wait, no, did you... Is this the way you're meant to go? Uh, sorry, my brain is dying. I think this might actually be the way you have to go, and my memories just got erased. Like, something broke me at some point, and I'm unable to remember things. I forget my own birthday sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely what you're meant to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking missed it. Oh! Oh no, you, I was right. I haven't seen this before. Because I always did that weird janky jump onto the, the flying thing and never, like, used the intended solution of coming down here to do the pillar. But you knew about the pillar, you just hadn't used it before. No, I didn't know about the pillar. Like, genuinely? Oh, you f- I should have saved at the top of the pillar. Fuck's sake. I'm such a big cunt. Yeah, you are. Um... So, I have never used this pillar in all of my playthroughs <laughs> of Half-Life. And I'm funny. just learning about this now. And, like, my mind has been blown. Haven't you played this I game like, like 20 times? Yeah, I feel like like a new dimension has been opened to me. Was I saving? Yeah, so you still you still do need to get to that like tripodal island thing. But instead I'm falling down rather than going up like you did. Yeah. So but to be fair, the way that you did is probably easier. Yeah, but like I've I've Sorry, I'm. Uh, I thought I knew everything that this game had to offer. I'll be honest. You do not. Uh. Yeah, but apparently I'm just a. F I'm but a fool. Uh. I like how there's a, a, a hitting ground sound effect for falling into. Yeah, the void. I was just thinking as well. Yeah. What? Uh, I think it's too far of a drop. But if you look, those uh, blue creatures are all heading towards it. So if you can get onto one of them by getting down platforms. I still think that's too far, yeah. yeah. Where's the next platform, so though? Need... It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, for God's sake. I hate the fact that when you click back, it just cancels all momentum. Again, it was made a long time ago. Movement systems have been refined since then. There we go. Three health. All you need. I can't believe I found something you've never found. I can't either. My, my brain is broken. I, I, I feel like... Hello. Uh, I, I, I am, I have been mind fucked and a higgowed by that, I'll be honest. <laughs> so this area contains some pretty difficult enemies, but you can, like, avoid them. There is a, a, you can stealth through this area if you, like, avoid them. But you need to be careful. I want to try and jump to that. I think there is a healing pool around here somewhere. <sighs> yeah, here we go. Health. Sweet, glorious, beautiful health. And also a barnacle. Oh, was Two barnacles. <laughs> I was very close to that one. It was uh, just we, a bit tickling We're going to have to chill here for a good amount of time because I need to yeah. uh, get a full got any, here. Got any fun stories? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I work from home, so I don't really see people or do things very often. Well, you know, tell us everything about what you did for work. Expose your trade secrets. Um, Get fired. Yeah, to be fair, like, some of the stuff I do I'm, is, is hush hush. I can't talk about it, so. Not that it matters too much, but still. I'm surprised that anyone trusts you with that. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, like, I know, like, all the info on, like, Everyone that we work with, like how much they get paid, like um, 
like basically all of our personal info. I have all the details. <laughs> I'm trusted with all of that for some reason. Where the hell? Oh shit! Let's reload this safe by accident. Genius. Eh. Oh hello. Oh. All right. Why so you sort of did that. Way? You sort of did that backwards. The area you came out of was the area you were meant to hide in to escape from the Gargantua. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so you so now I've got, to lead him... I've got to lead him out to get back in. Yeah. But you know, you pulled it off with your expert gamer skills. Oh, no, no. <laughs> expert gamer skills. <laughs> oh, wait. Did I not die? Oh, no, I did. You but did, you know but this half time, life this time you. I'm just gonna like ignore the gargantuan boy and just like fucking bye. He's a bit confused. It's his first day on the job. He doesn't know what he's doing. Pew! Pew! Ah, fuck off, you big old pentacle bitch. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> And yeah, you can just ignore those guys and jump immediately into the portal. I feel like I'm getting better at this game. Finally. I'm now you are. I'm almost at the end of it. What the fuck is this? Something about me being alone? Yeah, that voice has been speaking to you since the moment you uh, came to this dimension and you've just sort of been ignoring it. I don't listen to wizards. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um my mistake. You know, wizards are dangerous. You should listen to them. Never trust a witch. Where the fuck am I meant to be going? So, if it wasn't immediately obvious, uh, by the Amazon logos everywhere, you're in a factory. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, why am I such a big flaming huge moron? Some of the vaults in this area... Jesus Christ, man, shoot the controllers! Never. Yes! You're just standing there, taking it. Taking it like a good little bitch. I am. Oh god, I bet Katie pegs you. Um... <laughs> so... <laughs> You're in a factory, and there is something in the barrels if you break them, but you may not like what you find. Is it just like a bunch of aliens? This is hurty water. Oh. This is hurty juice. Yeah. Well, it was boiling. You lied to me. Uh, you can break them, it just takes a little bit. Maybe don't waste your magnum ammo. I'm gonna kill myself afterwards, I just wanna see what happens. Nope. Apparently they're very hard to break. Um, maybe you can't break the ones that are on conveyors, I forget. Try it with your crowbar. Not exactly sure what killed me then. We live in a society. Yeah, but you can break... I think it's those ones you can break, actually. Those ones there that look like that. Ah! So they're just creating yeah, so an army. This is a healing pod. It's like a healing pool, but a bit faster, maybe, I think? I'm not sure. It doesn't feel much faster. But yes, this is a... <clears throat> Soldier factory for cloning those big beefy boys. Intriguing. Right. Where am I going now? I don't know. 
just sort of walk around, you'll see an exit. I don't really see an exit. Is that meant to fall down here? Oh, no, uh... What the fuck is going on? Yeah, just, just kill me. Okay, I kind of get it now. Oh, sweet. Dead person. Sick, let's loot their corpse. That's what I say when I visit the cemetery. Right. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ugh. Yum. Gotta go fast. You own gun against you a bit. Oh, controllers God. don't. Sick. Controllers don't use um guns. They just attack you with the power of their galaxy brain. Nice. Oh shit! Wrong gun. Wrong gun. You meant. <laughs> you just hit him in the face with a grenade. Hi. <laughs> the barrel's just like. <laughs> I'm taking this guy with me. Oh, these fucking laser beam bitch tit boys keep fucking hitting me. It's very annoying. Maybe don't, like, stand in the way of them. Maybe use cover. What is this, your first first person shooter? Right. Making progress. I mean, yeah, you may as well use your grenades. <laughs> Once you have them. Right. We're making our way. Oh, they just kill you in one hit no matter what health you're on. I mean, I realize that I'm on five health right now, so it doesn't really apply, but still. They kill you in, a me in one hit no matter what health you're on. If you're on one health, two health, Three health. <laughs> they just kill you outright. It's outrageous. Oh my god, go away, you laser bitch tits. I personally am a big fan of the Magnum for this area. Yes, it's very good. They're just everywhere! I need ammo! Please! They're working here. Turtle, they get paid minimum wage to work here. And make soldiers all day. And you're gonna disrespect them like that? I am. You're out of ammo. Use this I, thing for a bit. So I sort of love the association I've made in my head that this is just an Amazon factory. <laughs> what just happened to me? I think you blew yourself up in a stroke of too. unprecedented genius. You dropped a bomb at your feet and pulled the detonator. Pulled. This is so difficult. I, maybe, maybe, here's an idea. Maybe stop trying to use uh, like satchel charges. I just, it, it puts in them the in my air. hand the moment I walk over here. What else am I meant to do? Switch off of them. Stop shooting me with your giga brain, you absolute chad. I like how you've switched to compliments. Hey, bro. What's up? <laughs> he was so polite. <laughs> he was like, I gotta reload. No worries, bro. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry, man. I, I see you've been having a hard day, and I just wanted to say that, like, I get it, man. I get it. I get, I, it. I, I get it. You know, do what you have to. Oh, I love games bit. like this for moments like that, where the AI just acts bizarre. <laughs> Why are you always shooting me a Giga Brain? Don't, you don't need to fight that guy. But he's a bitch. He deserves to die. Is this some deep-rooted confession, seeing as you yourself confessed to being a bitch earlier? Yes. Well, <laughs> 
I think the game wanted you to break those barrels to get through. No. I don't care what the game wants. My god, turtle, your your allergy your allergy to using cover <laughs> in a firefight. Just astonishing. Right, we're in a healing thing, so let's just chill for a minute. Yeah, there's Reload one of them's well. definitely gonna come up and get in your face and be like, hey bro, what's up? <laughs> Can I heal you? Is this I'm space for me in there? Mom said it's my turn on the healing pod. Mom said it's my turn on the brain, god. Get a stinky yeah, ball control out of here. Control is a single-handedly like the worst enemy in this game. But they, they do fit. You notice when they die, their head splits open and there's like a triangle inside. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, look at right. one's body next time you kill it. That's uh, not a controller. I think the controller's corpses fade quicker for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, they made it so the corpses fade because system requirements and all that. Back in the day, having too many enemy corpses could yeah, cause a lot yeah. of issues for the game. But... There was initially going to be a, a creature that would actually go around the level and eat them and clean them up. Ooh, that would have been really cool. But uh, unfortunately that guy did get cut. And it is a shame because it's single-handedly the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. Oh, I think I have seen a picture of it, yes. It like walks on its face, has those weird arms. Has a almost human looking face, pale human skin. And it's called Mr. Friendly. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely seen a picture of that dude. I believe the original game design was that uh, if angered, it would uh, fuck you to death. Nice. Which may be one of the reasons it got cut, I don't know. <laughs> Just one of the reasons, you'd think. Just one of the reasons, you know. Along how with how players, close PTSD. are we to the end of the game right now? Uh, Interloper is the second to last chapter. Oh, for and the, lo sake. the last chapter is very short, so... And how I'd close about... with the end of this chapter? You're about halfway to two-thirds of the way through. Okay, since we just hit two hours. Oh, did we? How, you know, time flies. Well, we can do this a little longer, because if we cut it off here, the next episode's really not going to be that great. Yeah, it's going to be very short, yeah. So, you know what? We're doing a long one. Well, I've got maximum another hour. Well, yeah, hopefully it shouldn't take any longer than that. Depends on how much time we spend in a healing pod, you know? <laughs> at least this one this this one heals you for two at a time sometimes. Yeah, you know, the, this, uh... When are you going to release the uh, healing pod highlights video? <laughs> where it's just... Where it's just footage of time spent in the healing pods. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of uploading this yet. I'm not sure if I'm just going to upload these three videos. Okay, sorry guys, we're back. Unfortunately, um, I did end up playing through about a quarter yeah, turtles, of the boss fight uh, and realized that the recording had stopped. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I did. I must have just pressed it. But it's because F7 and F6 are the, like the save and reload buttons and F10 is my, um, is my start and stop recording button. So I must have accidentally pressed it um, at some point. I don't really <laughs> know look how. at that water gun. What was he doing? Uh, but yeah, uh, I must have accidentally pressed it. So, I have seen the boss that we're about to fight. I do apologize that you're not going to see my genuine first reaction. Um, oh, don't worry. His genuine first reaction was like, oh, uh, what's that? <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta say, might be a little, a little less, uh, surprised than I was prior, but still. Yeah. It's still a very cool boss fight, yeah. I didn't, I didn't have he didn't any... kill the boss. No, I didn't. He, I just didn't. Made I... It, uh, he just made it a little ways through before realizing that he'd stopped the recording like a galoomba. I gotta say, it's lucky that I did stop, but, but basically never named informed me I've got to destroy these crystals on the sides of the wall um, to kill the boss. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. Uh, and the boss will teleport me to various different rooms and maybe do little mini challenges during this uh, process. Apparently I can try to avoid the teleports, but it's not easy. Right. Oh, fuck. I looked away. Yes, those are guided missiles. Wait, why can't I reload this last missile? I've got one left and won't let me reload it. Um... I 
think you did successfully dodge the teleport there without even looking at it. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. But this time, I'm probably not going to get so lucky. How am I jumping so high? <laughs> you, you hit a sphincter. <laughs> That's pretty funny. This section, on my prior attempt, was hell. It took me so yeah. long. He used a lot of insults that I've never heard before. Uh, what was what, what what did I use? Um, I, I called I called one of them a spoo drag and never named was thought I'd called it a sp a spoo spoo drag and was very confused. Um, and then the other one, what was the other one? I can't remember the other one was now. I think it started with a W. It was ah, I can't remember now. A whim? Ah, oh, something like that. A quim. <laughs> Turtle a Quim doesn't a start waff. with a W. A what? I called someone a WAF. Yeah, that was what it was. You called it a WAF. Because he, he just can't seem to get the hang of jumping. Uh, jumping. Just jumping in general. Jumping, jumping is, is something that Turtle's not good at. Okay, but this time I did it much, much better. Much, much better. But yeah, I unfortunately stopped the recording. Um, but this does mean that me saying earlier about am I going to split up the recordings is now a much more obvious solution because now I just can because I've already had to. No, I'm you already have to. to edit. edit. I, you destroyed the, the last crystal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's time to start killing this fucker directly. Look at his fat head. He's a pretty cool looking fella. I was saying before that I think the Nihilanth would have definitely benefited from a custom soundtrack. Why can't I even look? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with you. It's ominous having no music, but at the same time, it's not the it's not the best. Yeah, like no music is definitely an atmosphere, but you could arguably build a better atmosphere with the right music. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because I, I don't, I don't think this fight is one that would benefit from like action mu movie music or the like. Like, da 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 But it would definitely benefit from like a Just some like ominous chanting or something along those lines would be really good. Yeah, and very fitting as well. Yeah, I, oh I was- Oh my god. I, I was seeing if I could just accept their rap. But it, it wasn't- that wasn't the way. Ooh, can I- can I like just drop it onto one of the balls? Kind of I think it would kill you with full damage, I'll be Probably. honest. Probably should use the Magnum here, shouldn't I? Yeah, like I said, Magnum's good for these guys. Like Duck Hunt. Do you know what? One, one thing this game does really, really well that not enough modern games do well is PC Aim Assist. Really? I think the, the aim assist in this game is pretty good. Honestly, I don't play with the aim assist turned on. I mean, you don't, I don't think you need to. I don't think it's necessary at all. Like, But it is very, very nice. I do like it quite a lot. I'm the sort of person who, like, I like to be in complete control of my gunplay. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, you're, you're, you're just like that in every aspect of the games you play. Like, you don't like bloody... Um... Thingy, the tier, the tier boss item in Isaac. I can't what it's called now. Tear drops. Oh god, his head's open. Eye drops. That's what it's called. Shooting him would help. Stop teleporting me. Yeah, using cover in um, the Nihilant fight is extremely useful. Right, we, we realized last time that there's a thingy up here, healing pool, so we're going to use that a yeah, little bit. Yeah, and I definitely said that the first try and we didn't faff around for a few <laughs> minutes because I forgot where the healing pool was. How did we get back up to there again, do you remember? One of the sphincters. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, no, this is, this is where... Oh. It, it was in this pool that I realized the recording had stopped, wasn't it? Yeah. But you, you use one of the sphincters to get out. So, um, in this area, actually, you can find, if you go into water... Uh, I'm stuck in the wall. The, oh, no. I'm okay. A model for a, a character who isn't used anywhere else in the game, I don't think. Oh, maybe, maybe she's used... No, I think she's used at the very beginning, and then again here as a corpse. Under, under the water. Are you telling me I'm going to miss that? No. Try, uh... 
I need to like walk and jump, don't I? Yeah, that was too far. Oh no, no I'm good. Uh, it's right. either uh, Gina Cross or Colette Green. And I don't remember which one it is, but it's one of them and she's dead now. And I don't know if her being dead is canon, because she's a character that it's not 100% sure if she's canon to begin with. Yeah. Fucking uh, because I've told a turtle about, like, what Half-Life Decay is. It's that, uh, two-player one that isn't really released anywhere and you have to get a mod if you want to play it. Yeah. And Gina Cross and Colette Green are the two-player characters in that mod. Ah, interesting. So she's not dead dead? But she's dead. So yeah, at the beginning of the game, uh, if you look in a certain room and look on the security cameras, you can see her delivering the sample to the test chamber. So that that crystal that you put in the um, test chamber that started this whole debacle was yeah. brought to the chamber by her. Also, his, his fat head's splitting up. It is, yeah. Look at, how, look at how cute it is. Yeah, that hit me. When was the last time you saved? Like, pretty late recently. Do you have any better weapons than the shotgun? Yeah, I, I do. I have this thing. You have the, the rocket launcher and the blue armor, and you're using a shotgun. I forgot I had ammo for these things, sorry. Oh, stop! What are you doing that, you big earth? I do think they have a small amount of AoE when they hit. Oh wait, I think I know what you need to do now. What? Jump up and try and hit- there's something in his head. That's why the sphincter's on the ground. Okay, well let him kill me then, and I'll just I'll just get my ammo back for this thing. Sorry, again, yeah, yeah. I'm stupid. To be, to be fair, I should have realized that sooner myself. Well, at the same time, I'm not... Uh, you know, I'm meant to be a guide, and I'm not doing well at that. Oh, for fuck's sake, you stupid idiot. He's literally an idiot, baby. Give me some of those nips. Don't you snip oh. <laughs> I like how we both had the same thought. <laughs> right, I think I need to get up on top of that, don't I? I think there's at least a healing pool up there. There is, yeah. And another sphincter for getting even higher. Well, he just keeps getting higher. Wait, what? Aim for the head. When I go higher, he just goes higher. I believe there is... Maybe he's... Maybe you still need to do, deal a bit of damage to him to, for him to fully open up. I'm not 100% sure. Don't tell me that was a death, you goober. Shoot him. Kill him. Oh my god. The damage in this game is some BS. The game does not pull its punches. And by that, it means the ground is made of, like, instant death -ium. All right, let me heal up, you fat baby. Um, he, it, did it... It occurs he to me that it, he's, eh? he's literally the boss baby. He is the boss baby. This is the boss baby's final transformation. What are you doing? Mate, this fucking stupid sphincter bullshit is annoying the hell out of me. It, like, if it sends you up, it should land you in the same spot it sent me up. I don't want to jump on it, you fucking idiot. I just want to heal Go up. Go forwards, then. This is such a dumb place to put a healing pool. Why would you do this video game? This is so dumb. Put it behind the cover, you fucking morons. Oh, this is just not fun at all. Well, maybe you should continue trying to attack him. And and. I don't even get how I'm meant to. I, I can't get above him. Well, I said I'm only like half. 
Say what? Okay, Ooh. no, apparently I can. Just stop it with your big flappy falls. God damn it. <laughs> oh, and then, then, I, then I take no fall damage. Good. Oh, because oh, you landed in fluid. I'll land your fluid in a minute. Oh, God, yes. Um... The way Half-Life works is that if you fall from a height, no matter how far, it's Minecraft rules basically. If you land in a fluid, you take no damage. No this matter how stupid that is. Big gear baby's big flappy head is annoying the hell out of me. Maybe save so that you can like save the damage that you've done so far so you're not starting completely over when you inevitably die. Do you not see it when I'm saving by the way? Because I am saving uh, like I'm... all the time. A little, a little word coming up on screen isn't what I'm paying. Oh the most my god! To. How did we do it that one time? That one time, it felt like it, I did like I no damage you, to him, and it was easy. I think you just got like lucky with the sphincter and got a, like a real good um, like that. Yes. Now try not to die. Just make sure you land in the fluid below. Right. Yes. Absolutely going off on one. You're jiving. E, e moving. Ish moving. I want to chill out, fella. Is he going to become a new portal? Uh, I think he's just going to die. Oh! Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, Saved. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. To choose. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Subject Freeman, status hired. Awaiting assignment. Ooh. You did it! D through, you fought through that 1990s game design, and you won. Nice. I did not expect that to be the way that that game ends. <laughs> Oh, really? Did you not know about I, that? I did not know about that at all. <laughs> I did not know that that's where Freeman came in. Uh, not Freeman. G-Man came into it. Oh, yes. Uh, G-Man has what been happens authorized. At, what happens at the end of the game if you just stand there and don't accept the offer? Do you actually get to fight him? The door closes and he teleports you into a room full of aliens without any weapons. Uh, okay. It's basically like, fuck you. And that this well, is the I setup for Half-Life 2, that, that we're yes. going to be working for G-Man now. Kind of. But yes, basically. Awesome. That was... That, oh. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Despite the there shitty were... game design of 1990s games, that was very fun. There were points of frustration, but we got through it, and... It's worth experiencing the original if I, we're going to play the second. I'm going to say, I also think as well, like, I probably wouldn't play that on my own just because of how many frustrating and, like, 
bit, uh, bits where I just didn't know where I was going happened. But because I was playing with someone that knows it, it was much, much more enjoyable. Like, right, what am I doing now? Knows it, mostly. Well, that's the end of the game. Okay. First of all, just make sure I save. <laughs> Don't know why, but make sure I save. And there you go. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys are, are ready for uh, a Half-Life 2 playthrough coming soon-ish. Of course, it does take us quite a long time to record these, because the games themselves are long. I imagine Half-Life 2 is a longer game anyways. Um, yes. But also, me and Never Named do live at other sides of the world, so keep that in mind, meaning time zones are difficult. I also have a, a job that I have to do alongside that, and my YouTube, yeah, so he smells. it is... It is difficult for us to get, like, long but, periods of time we can record together like this, but we will try our hardest. If you do have COVID, if you do have COVID, it yeah. means I can drag you here again. <laughs> Unless I'm feeling More terrible. <laughs> oh, don't but, worry, yeah. I'll make you feel worse. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really fun, and I definitely thank you, Nevin, for forcing me to play it, because I did enjoy it a lot. Oh, you know, anytime, anytime. <laughs> but yeah, we'll leave it there, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this over uh, over the Christmas period. And happy Christmas to everyone as well. Merry Goodbye. Christmas. Bye-bye.